In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the future value of an annuity. So first of all, it's best to kind of get an idea of what we're conceptually talking about here. So I'm going to give an example of what I mean by an annuity. So we've got today, it's right here, and then we've got end of year one, end of year two, end of year three, four, and five. So we're looking at five years, and what you're going to do, let's say you're saving up, you want to buy something, uh, you, you want to buy a car, and you decide to deposit uh, $500 every year. So you just you say, okay, for five years, let's see, so it's not just, it's not forever, but just five years here, you're going to take at the end of each year, you're going to say, okay, I'm going to put away $500, put it in the bank, and the goal is that at the end of the five years, you're hoping that, that you've earned some interest or return on your money. Let's say that uh, you have some, or you buy bonds or something, something you're somehow going to get a return here over through this period. So let's say that you think you can get a return of, of 7%. Okay. Now, what you want to know is you want to know, well, what is the value at the end of that period? So all these deposits and, and then the interest that or uh, return you've accumulated, what does that add up to? You want to know, well, I, I want to get an idea of what I'm going to be able to buy. What, what. So, so you've got the $500. Now, remember, we can't just add up these $500. We can't just say, well, it's 5 times $500. It's $2,500. It's not $2,500 due to the time value of money. So uh, now we say, okay, well, how do we go ahead and calculate this? This is complicated. We got this is going to be uh, earning interest at, at this point in time, but then we don't get to a thousand dollars saved up until period two, and then period three we'll have fifteen. But uh, the, you know they're coming at different times. How do we? Well, the nice thing is we've got got a little formula. So I want to walk you through this formula. And so the formula is that the future value of an annuity. Uh, so the future value of an annuity is going to be equal to the cash flows. By cash flow, we're talking about that 500. So that cash flow multiplied by, and we've got a big fraction here, so bear with me. It's going to be in the numerator. We've got 1 plus R, which is our rate of return. That's 7%. 1 plus R uh, raised to the T power. T is the number of periods. In this case, we've got five times that we're doing this, so we've got five periods. And then we subtract one, and this is all the numerator. That's all the numerator in a fraction. Uh, and the denominator is going to be R again, that, that rate of interest. Uh, so now what we do is we're just going to plug in. So we know C, uh, we know to be, oh, my pen just lost this. So we know C to be 500, and we know R now we we know it's seven percent, but we have to put that in terms of a decimal, so we'll say 0 0.07. Um, and so, and then we know t is five. So all we do is we just plug these numbers in here. So let let's go ahead and plug this in, and and let's solve and see what our future value is. Um, so we're going to have five hundred multiplied by the one. So let's here we've got the numerator. We'll do first this one plus r. That is going to be 1 plus 0 0.07, so that's 1.07, 1 1.07, raised to the fifth power, okay, minus 1, all over R, which again is 0 0.07. So I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll just tell you what, what you end up getting. You get 2,000. $875.37. Now you see that this is more, this is greater than the $2,500 if we just added up uh, uh, the payments without accounting for the time value of money and the, and the fact that you're earning this return uh, on the money. So ultimately what this $2,875.37 is representing is saying if you were to deposit $500 at the end of each period for five years 
at a 7% rate of return at the end of period 5, at the end of year 5, you would have $2,875.37 in the bank.